Hey, what's up everybody? Paramount Cyclops here. And this last Wednesday, 52-year-old Carrie Johnson of West Virginia pled guilty to second-degree robbery. So, back on August 2nd last year, Mr. Johnson was just chillin', playing a game of blackjack in the Mardi Gras Casino in Nitro, West Virginia. Evidently, he wasn't doing very good, and uh, he plopped a $25 chip to save his spot at a table got in his trusty old getaway vehicle, drove down to Charleston, West Virginia, and went to a bank, walked up to the bank teller, handed her a note saying that he had a bomb and a weapon on him. The teller gave him $5,000, and uh, he made a clean getaway. That is, of course, until he... Uh, went back to the same exact casino table and gambled. Now the cops found $500 of the stolen money at that table that he was gambling at, and an undisclosed amount was jammed into the chair and couch cushions at his residence. Also at the residence, the officers found Mr. Uh, Johnson's hat, the very same hat that he wore in the robbery, and the exact same yellow legal pad that he wrote the note on. Now, he has admitted to doing this. He said, hey, I was on a lot of drugs. I had no idea what I was doing. Hmm, okay, we'll get into that here in a second. So he's facing 18 years, 5 to 18 years. Uh, 5 years is, is the minimum, 18 years is the maximum, uh, barring any other litigating circumstances. So he is either brazen and has big, huge brass ones, or he really was on several different drugs, or, and more likely, in my opinion, and I think we will probably find this out later, he was just plain addicted to gambling, and he needed that gambling fix. He was a user, and he was right in the middle of getting his fix, and he was running out of money. He was desperate. Users don't think about things like that. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe. You guys keep it real.